Globus pallidus, Wikipedia audio. The globus pallidus, also known as paleus striatum or dorsal pallidum, is a subcortical structure of the brain. It is part of the telencephalon, but retains close functional ties with the subthalamus, both of which are part of the extrapyramidal motor system. The globus pallidus is part of the striatum, the major component of the basal ganglia, and its direct target is the substantia nigra. The latter are made up of similar neuronal elements, have similar afferents from the dorsal striatum, and have a similar synaptology, neither receives cortical afferents. Palatal nuclei are made up of the same neuronal components. In primates, Almost all palatal neurons are very large, parvalbumin positive, with very large dendritic arborizations. These have the peculiarity of having the three-dimensional shape of flat discs, parallel to one another, parallel to the border of the palatum and perpendicular to the afferent striatopalatal axons. There are only a few small local circuitry neurons. The globus pallidus is traversed by the numerous myelinated axons of the striatopalladonigral bundle that give it the pale appearance from which it is named. Structure The ultrastructure is very peculiar, as the long dendrites are everywhere, without discontinuity, covered by synapses. In primates, the globus pallidus is divided into two parts by the medial medullary lamina. These are the internal globus pallidus and the external globus pallidus, both are composed of closed nuclei surrounded by myelinic walls. The ventral pallidum lies within the substantia innominata and receives efferent connections from the ventral striatum. It projects to the dorsomedial nucleus of the dorsal thalamus, which, in turn, projects to the prefrontal cortex, it also projects to the pedunculopontine nucleus and tegmental motor areas. Its function is to serve as a limbic somatic motor interface, and it is involved in the planning and inhibition of movements from the dorsal striatopalatal complex. The globus pallidus is a structure in the brain involved in the regulation of voluntary movement. It is part of the basal ganglia, which, among many other things, regulate movements that occur on the subconscious level. If the globus pallidus is damaged, it can cause movement disorders, as its regulatory function will be impaired. There may be cases in which damage is deliberately induced, as in a procedure known as a pallidotomy in which a lesion is created to reduce involuntary muscle tremors. When it comes to regulation of movement, the globus pallidus has a primarily inhibitory action that balances the excitatory action of the cerebellum. These two systems evolved to work in harmony with each other to allow smooth and controlled movements. Imbalances can result in tremors, jerks, and other movement problems as seen in some people with progressive neurological disorders characterized by symptoms like tremors. The basal ganglia acts on a subconscious level, requiring no conscious effort to function. When someone makes a decision to engage in an activity such as petting a dog, for example, these structures help to regulate the movement to make it as smooth as possible, and to respond to sensory feedback. Likewise, the globus pallidus is involved in the constant subtle regulation of movement that allows people to walk and engage in a wide variety of other activities with a minimal level of disruption. The two palatal nuclei and the two nigral parts constitute a high-frequency autonomous pacemaker. The two parts receive successively a large quantity of GABergic axonal terminal arborizations from the striatum through the dense striatopalladonigral bundle. The synaptology is very peculiar. The striatal afferents contribute more than 90% of synapses. 
the two palatal nuclei receives dopaminergic axons from the pars compacta of the substantia nigra. This area of the basal ganglia receives input from another area, called the striatum, which has two parts, the caudate nucleus and the putamen. This data is rooted to the thalamus, either directly or indirectly. In the case of the interna, one area of the globus pallidus, the structure can feed directly to the thalamus. The externa, which lies on the outside of this structure, feeds information to the interna, where it can be passed on to the thalamus. The origin of the name is not established. It was known by Dejerine, but not by Santiago Ramon y Cajal. As the elements in no way have the shape of a globe, Foy and Nicolesco, the Vots, cross Betal followed by the Terminologia Anatomica proposed the simpler term of pallidum. For a long time the globus pallidus was linked to the putamen and termed the lentiform nucleus, a heterogeneous anatomical entity that is part of the striatum rather than the pallidum. The link with the substantia nigra pars reticulata was stressed very early on due to the similarities in dendritic arborization but, in spite of strong evidence, this association remains controversial. Coronal section of brain through intermediate mass of third ventricle Parts Coronal section of brain through anterior commissure Horizontal section of right cerebral hemisphere Connectivity diagram showing glutamatergic pathways as red, dopaminergic as magenta and GABA pathways as blue. Horizontal slice of MRI image showing the globus pallidus. Globus pallidus Function Palladonagral pacemaker Common afferents Pathway History